Hi, I'm Joshua Ott with Case Lock Incorporated, and today I'm going to be discussing lack of smooth pursuit. This is the first clue that officers check for during horizontal gaze nystagmus. To properly check for lack of smooth pursuit, officers start with the person's left eye. They then are required to move the stimulus at a rate that takes approximately two seconds from the center of the person's face all the way to maximum deviation of their left eye, which is the point at which there is no white left in the corner of the eye. They then are required to move the stimulus all the way back across the person's face to maximum deviation of the person's right eye at a rate that takes approximately four seconds. They then move the stimulus back to the center at a rate of approximately two seconds and do this one more time to check both eyes a total of two times. It is extremely important that officers perform this correctly for two reasons. The first is that it is part of the standardized field sobriety test, meaning that it has to be done according to the guidelines Otherwise, it compromises the validity of the test, which is the ability of the test to produce accurate and reliable results. The second reason is that a normal sober person's eye can smoothly follow an object at a rate of approximately two seconds. So if the stimulus is moved any faster than that rate, it is possible that even a normal sober person may not be able to smoothly follow the object and it will cause their eye to jerk, which is nystagmus. This means that it is possible for an officer that is moving a stimulus too fast to actually induce the nystagmus that they are looking for. If you have any other questions or are looking for additional information, please go to my website, caselockinc.com, or feel free to email me at caselockinc at gmail.com. Thank you.